Welcome to Airborne Flight Training, coming up on this week's episode. ERAU Eagles win number one overall at AIAA's Uncrewed Flight Competition. Lift Academy bolsters relationship with Diamond. Epic Flight Academy launches new a and school at CVG. And I'm your host, Tom Lindley. Welcome to Airborne Flight Training, a weekly program dedicated to future aviators and aviation professionals. Airborne Flight Training is brought to you in part by King Schools. King Schools has been leading the effort in producing expert aviation training programs and computer-based learning software for 50 years. Find out why pilots love King Teaching at kingschools.com. Now let's get into today's stories. ERAU Eagles win number one overall at AIAA's Uncrewed Flight Competition. For the first time, students from Embry-Riddle's Daytona Beach, Florida campus took top honors at the AIAA Design Build Fly Competition held in Wichita, Kansas. A second Embry-Riddle squad, this one from the Prescott, Arizona campus, also placed among the top teams, earning eighth overall. Dr. Jim Gregory, Dean of the College of Engineering at the Daytona Beach campus, said, quote, Embry-Riddle students who participate in the AIAA Design Build Fly competition are impressive in their dedication, innovation, and leadership. They are learning critical skills that will serve them well throughout their careers. Their first place win is outstanding evidence of their excellence." End quote. The challenge required students to design, build, and test a remotely operated radio-controlled airplane for urban air mobility. The aircraft had to conduct a delivery flight, a medical transport flight, and an urban taxi flight, plus a ground mission that demonstrated how quickly the aircraft configuration could be changed from delivery to medical transport to urban air taxi. Hosted by Textron Aviation, this year's event, which included more than 1,000 students representing 93 universities from all over the world, was the largest in its 28-year history. The Daytona Beach team dominated the competition with its aircraft, christened Wrench, standing for Wind Resistant Emergency Navigator for Civilians and Healthcare. And after the break, Vertical Flight Society completes drone design competition for students. Flying is my entire life, it's all that I've ever known. I've relied on Hartzell propellers since about 1995. Hartzell means much more than a propeller. It's a relationship. When you hear the phrase, built on honor, they care about us as pilots, they care about our community, and they care about the product they build. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Vertical Flight Society completes drone design competition for students. The Vertical Flight Society selected the winners of this year's Design Build Vertical Flight Student Competition, sending the team from Texas A&M home with the gold. The competition assesses students' ability to draft, develop, and construct a VTOL drone from the ground up, and this year's wet and windy conditions added an additional level of difficulty on top of the normal trials and travails of the DBVF. Facing winds of 20 miles an hour gusting up to 40, competing teams had to get knocked down and repair everything in time for another test run. NBAA holds successful maintenance conference. The National Business Aviation Association capped off a successful 2024 NBAA maintenance conference and already started looking forward to next year. The NBAA saw attendees make the rounds from all over the continental U.S., bringing those who want to foster a stronger generation of maintenance professionals. Keynote speakers included Greg Wooldridge, a three-time CEO of the U.S. Navy's Blue Angels, and Amy Grubb, an FBI psychologist who walked audience through proper organizational handling. Governor aims to highlight impact of general flight on state economy. Governor Spencer Cox of Utah announced that the month of May would be known as General Aviation Month, highlighting the, quote, rich history, significant contributions, and promising future of GA in our state and across the nation, end quote. 
The announcement carried a short timeline of the industry's place in Utah history, recounting the transition from fabric biplanes to metallic monoplanes, the Civilian Pilot Training Act dotting the land with hundreds of flight schools, the establishment of National Aviation Day in 1939, and more as backing for the special month. NBAA announces 2024 AMT scholarship winners. The National Business Aviation Association announced the lucky batch of scholarship recipients in its 2024 maintenance offerings, granting a variety of courses, classes, and certifications to young members on the upswing. Drawing from a variety of NBAA company members, the scholarships provide useful, accessible education in things that make a direct, easily apparent impact for students breaking into their lifelong career. Flight Safety International handed out a course on line maintenance for the PT-6 turboprop, as well as a five-day class on avionics and a handful of initials for Dassault Falcon maintenance. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Lyft Academy bolsters relationship with Diamond. The Leadership in Flight Training, or Lyft Academy, has expanded its training fleet with the recent order with Diamond Aircraft, bringing on 56 new planes. The DLC's Lyft gained 50 new single-engine DA-40s and six twin-engine DA-42s. The training facility has continued to expand thanks to a steady pipeline of students, some coming in from Republic Airways on one hand, and just as many brought into the industry thanks to record pay for airliners on the other. As such, Lyft has had to stretch operations a bit, bringing in fresh aircraft to take advantage of record attendance. The school has its roots in its corporate owner, Republic Airways Holdings, where it was specifically designed from the outset to align with the same Part 121 training that line pilots will see in the medias part of their careers. Republic Airways says it's the only regional carrier to have established its own pilot training academy along those lines, since students, quote, train from day one for a career, end quote, with them. Their friends in the industry bring in even more students courtesy of American, Delta, and United Airlines. After these messages, Epic Flight Academy launches new a and school at CVG. Welcome back. Epic Flight Academy launches new a and school at CVG. Epic Flight Academy has officially launched its new aircraft mechanic school at the Cincinnati Northern Kentucky International Airport, marking a significant advancement in aviation training and workforce development in Kentucky. The opening of this $8 million, 32,000 square foot training facility was celebrated with a ribbon cutting ceremony attended by staff, students, and dignitaries. This new FAA Part 147 certified school is poised to address the growing demand for qualified airframe and power plant mechanics. Upon completing the program, students will be able to become FAA certified A&P mechanics, a credential that opens up substantial career opportunities directly within the aviation industry. Governor Andy Bashir highlighted the importance of such educational initiatives for Kentucky's economy, stating that workforce development is crucial for community and economic growth. The school is expected to serve as a vital resource, equipping Kentuckians with the skills needed for high-paying, skilled jobs in aviation maintenance. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.